Today we are in the part of Altea village that you've never ever seen before. Welcome to the channel Benidorm by Anna and let's discover the area that tourists don't usually know about. Welcome to the beach of La Oya. Technically it's the beach before then, it's the beach of Cap Negret, but all this district is called La Oya of Altea. This is a gorgeous place that has to some of the best Altea hotels. And as you can see, the privacy on this beach, small calas, crystal clear water, a nice place to just disconnect and relax with the gorgeous and stunning views is something that a lot of people, I'm quite sure, are missing when they visit Altea because they simply do not know this place actually exists. We will be having a short walk down the beach line, down the beach promenade here in Altea to show you which other areas you might be willing to explore during your holidays here in Benidorm and surrounding region. There are also a lot of accommodation options here nearby. A lot of these apartments, they're not only residential apartments whole year long. There are some of them that do have touristic license and that are being rented out for short term only. So you are actually able to rent them out and enjoy every single morning with the gorgeous views towards the Mediterranean Sea. Also, there are two very nice hotels in this area. One of them is Hotel Cap Negret. We've filmed it actually for you here on the channel. If you want to check it out, we will leave you a link in the first comment below this video. And also, if you type in Benidorm by Anna Hotel Cap Negret or hotels, uh, you will see directly the full tour inside of it. We'll be checking out some lovely rooms the restaurant, the common areas, and much, much more. And there is another hotel, which is Five Stars Hotel Villa Gadea, which is supposed to be like a luxurious form of traveling and of enjoying your holidays, which is located right towards where we are heading right now. From these small calas, there are different exits don't be afraid go and explore i'm sure you will be able to enjoy your lovely walk the oya la oya of altea park is also extremely famous because this is where one of the best water fireworks are happening right at the beach in august let's go this way probably yes let's go this way right at the beach right by the small island of Laoya, there is a water platform that Municipal Hall is putting in place. This platform is being charged up until the end, tops, with different firework displays. And what's happening is that on midnight, these firework displays are being shut into the sky with the calm and quiet Mediterranean Sea, you can see the fireworks reflected double, both inside of the water and inside of the sky, which makes it even a more magical firework display that a lot of us have ever, ever seen. You can see this firework display from Altea main beach area, the city center, but a lot of people are heading to La Oya, this part in particular, to enjoy this firework display because not everything can be seen from the town of Altea, the central part. This is where it also gets tricky because you need to grab a public transport. You cannot bring a rented vehicle with you or taxis. There's barely going to be any kind of taxis for that time of the day. And you need to use public transport such as tram or a bus and go walking because thousands of people will be heading here to enjoy it. Nice, typical, small streets of Altea, which somehow remind us the old town are situated here nearby. This is a very quiet place. It's great not only for holidays, just as a getaway space to go out, enjoy and explore 
Also for sports, those who love walking on the sunshine early in the morning or later at night. And for those who love water sports, especially snorkeling or paddle surf, there's also a great options for you right here. Right nearby, there are some restaurants and cafeterias, which is where we're heading right now. Some of these places are closed just yet, but will be opening up towards the brand new summer season 2024. Others remained open and are offering service the whole entire year long. Also on the left side is where the National Road is located. This road leads you directly to the AP7 Highway or towards the train station. For example, the Benidorm tram is stopping here nearby. So it would be within the walking distance and you're actually used tram as a public transport to get towards this particular part of Altea. The stop where you need to hop off is called La Olla, Partida La Olla. Here we have some older types of ports. This is where the old port was located one part of it it was used for fishing too but later on locals just left it here and maintained it for sports such as paddle surf snorkeling maybe go out fishing with some boat this is what it's used for right now to this day some nice renovated old traditional spanish style buildings can be seen from here too and look at the gorgeous views that we have from here in the shade of a palm trees and pine trees we have gorgeous views of the mountains typical mediterranean flowers and plants and obviously loveliest long promenades to enjoy some great walk on the sunshine a lot of people are coming here with bicycles too this is something that this part of Altea is famous for you will see a lot of cyclists professional cyclists as well and then simply bicycle lovers those who have a bicycle or maybe even rent one to explore all this area just look at this we ourselves have never ever been to this particular part of Altea and I've been living here for 11 years. I know it existed, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. And now we are exploring it all together. Gorgeous place to be. These are, might seem some businesses, but I do feel that these probably are like living spaces offices converted into living spaces because they do have a barbecue they do have table chairs they do have place for children to play so probably it's like a whole apartment out here people are taking some lovely pictures with the mediterranean sea in front we have calpe which is peñón de ifach right there in front of us and behind us these are the views there is some bar and chiringuito right by the port where you can get some nice drinks and snacks if you will be here in the area and you're hungry or just want to stop and enjoy for a minute the relaxing views the national road is right there in front of us towards the top where the bridge is located and from there is where you will stop with the tram and these are the stairs there's numerous stairs numerous entrances that you can use to get to this part of the beach line i wouldn't even call this side exactly a beach but it is a lovely promenade right on the front line of the sea which makes it a gorgeous place to be in however this is not the beach of la olla just yet we've passed the beach of cap negret small callas and the beach of la olla is situated slightly further along but even so I'm quite sure you did not know that this place existed. Let us know here in the comments if you did see this beach area before, if you have been here maybe before or you stayed somewhere nearby and you did enjoy all this region and you got to explore it with your family members, uh, friends, couple, or maybe on your own. Why not? A lot of solo travelers enjoy this area. Right in front of us, we have already the entrance towards the area of La Olla, towards the beach of La Olla, which has quite a big extension. The thing that you see right in front of us, slightly to the right side, actually, 
This is a bunker, which uh, it's called bunker in Spanish. If it's a different word, I'm going to put it here on the screen. Basically, this is a safety underground tunnel, like a tower that was used to protect the people who were in charge of uh, making sure that no pirates from Africa will be coming here and will be keeping the area for themselves. So this is what this place was for. Right now it's closed. Obviously there's no museum inside, no nothing. It's not actually used. Uh, and look at this. Almond trees are blossoming. By the way, I did not tell it at the beginning of the video, but as you can probably see and think, it is correct. It's very warm outside. Right now, it's officially 22 to 23 degrees. This is an incredible weather, incredible temperatures that we absolutely cannot believe we have. Right now, in the whole area, not only here in Altea, but also in Benidorm town, in surrounding region Alicante, Valencia, Murcia, Torrevieja, Campello, Santa Pola, all this region has incredibly warm temperatures these days. The rain starts already in a lot of parts of Spain coming from north towards south, but here so far it's extremely sunny. We have gorgeous baby blue skies. People are wearing t-shirts, shorts, and flip-flops or summer shoes to enjoy their holidays. How bizarre is this beginning of February? By the way, today is the same. It's filmed the same day when you're seeing this video. So it's 7th of February. When did you see such a nice weather in Benidorm on 7th of February? This is like a dream come true for a lot of travelers who are coming to this region. And this is where the actual Playa de la Olla is starting. Here we have Olla Beach Bar, which is like a lounge type of place, very chill out, relaxing atmosphere. Great place to come for a cocktail, for some drinks. They do offer menu of the day for 22 euros. They have tapas, they have roast chicken, they have typical Spanish meals and snacks. Some other cafeteria and bar situated right there in front. Uh, look at this, they're preparing the beach here too for the brand new summer season, which is the noise you can actually hear. That's a tractor moving everything along. And this place is, wow, this is incredible. This is closed right now for, for holidays, but this is called El Crank, which is El Cangrejo, uh, the, the crab. And they have frontline views to the beach insane place especially in the evening time or on midday to get some nice cocktails some drinks right here by the beach this is actually a great place to be and the bar sand the saint uh, if you translate it directly is also a nice place to get some drinks they have budget options it's slightly cheaper than in oya lounge place or it's slightly cheaper than the crab but still great service, small family bar located here by the beach on the front line. There are some more apartments here that are mostly rented for tourists or as second holiday homes here in Spain. This is a very quiet place in general, which usually gets really busy in summer or on specific celebrations such as Castillo de la Olla, which is the fireworks. By the way, they're being put right by that small island right there on the right side. And a lot of people are coming here to the beach just to see the fireworks happening. If you will be here in August, check out the dates of the castle of la fireworks of La Olla. And if you will be here, please check it out. We have a couple of videos here on the channel. You can actually find them. Uh, and you can see by yourselves if it's worth visiting this place, but I would definitely say yes, it is worth coming here with so many people to see some of the best fireworks that you will ever see in this particular region of Spain. This beach, at least right now, outside of the summer season, they do not really put paid sunbeds here, nothing like this. These are bigger pebbles. So if you're coming here, be prepared. Buy some water shoes that we tend to have here for the beach areas that do have some stones in them so that it would be more comfortable to enjoy the area. The water is still crystal clear. It's very nice. And right here in front, we have the long way 
up until the end of the beach, which is where there is some bar, cafeteria, chiringuito, plus right here on the beach of La Olla is where the Hotel Villa Gadea is located. These right there in front are their premises already. But that's not all. From here, let us show you how easy it actually is to get to the National Road and where the train stop, the tram stop, is actually located. Just look at this. So much nature. The mountains right in front of us surrounding the region. It's a nice place, lovely place to be. And from here, the road you can see right next to the lovely almond trees is the National Road. This is where the National Road is actually located. There we are. And this yellow sign shows you that right in front of us, there is a train stop of La Olla. Right this road in front is where you would need to go. And the stop is called Olla Altea. From here, you can go both directions, either towards Denia or towards Benidorm and even up until Alicante, which is great if you are of those who love to explore the region where they are staying on holidays. With these lovely views from the National Road directly, this is the beach where we've been passing by. But on the bottom part of it, right now, we are right on the National Road, which shows you actually how close it is one to the other. Gorgeous views, really fresh air, even though there is National Road here nearby. And it's the one of the most important arteries to get to Altea, actually, if you do not use the highway, speedway. So even so right by the beach you can hardly hear anything with the sounds of the sea there's some supermarket right there nearby a couple of restaurants aesthetics clinic and public transport passing by incredible place to be thank you for accompanying us today